My name's Simon and I'm from Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions and today we have a Clenergy SPH15 solar inverter and if you have a look at the screen on this one you actually see it says GFCI fault and the red status indicator lamp is on. Now the GFCI fault uh, means ground fault current interrupter is active. Now what that should mean is there's a ground fault or an earth fault uh, with the solar inverter so it's detecting an earth fault so it's shutting down now uh, in my findings I haven't tended to find that's the case it's usually an actually a problem with the solar inverter but it's always worth uh, checking to make sure that that it uh, that it is the issue well find out what the issue is so uh, to do that as a homeowner there's not a great deal you can do other than try and reboot the system and to do that, what we'd do is we'd follow the shutdown procedure here. We'd turn off the solar supply main switch or AC isolator, and then turn off the PV ray DC isolator located at the inverter. So we can see the uh, PV ray main switch or PV ray DC isolator there beside us. And um, in this case, the uh, switchboard's just over here, and we see the solar supply main switch. So we'll just turn that one off. We'll turn off the AC first, and then we'll turn off the DC. Okay, and we'll just check out that screen and watch it go blank. Okay, give it a few moments and then we'll try and reboot the system. Like I said, I usually find that it's not actually an issue with the inverter. It's a, well, sorry, it usually is an issue with the inverter rather than something else. But uh, it's certainly worth a reboot to try and uh, see if that clears the issue. So we'll just reboot the system now. It doesn't matter which, uh, which uh, way you turn it back on. In this case, we're going to turn the DC on first and then we'll turn the... AC back on and look at that straight away GFCI fault so what this as I said earlier this is a ground fault current um, interrupter is active on the inverter so it's, it's disconnecting the inverter because it's seeing a ground fault now uh, what an electrician should do you should get a, so a accredited solar electrician to come and have a look at it and um, and check that both the positive and negative from the solar panels is uh, is not down to earth at all and if it is there's probably a problem with the uh, the DC cables or the solar isolator or, or uh, the solar panels on the roof but in this case I've actually already done that and the the issue is still here it hasn't changed a thing and um, there's no problems with the solar panels and stuff so in this case here, it's a problem with the Clenergy SPH15 inverter. Now these inverters do come with a five year warranty. So if your inverter was installed within the last five years, you will be able to uh, get it repaired under warranty. We should be able to. And information you will need for that is obviously the type of inverter. It's a Clenergy, the model, which in this case is SPH15 and also the serial number and the on these uh clinergy inverters it's a little bit hard to find it's actually on the top of the inverter so i'll just see if i can you get a picture of it there yeah. see that on that barcode there so you'll need uh, that information to try and make a warranty claim but uh look if you have any problems and uh you're on the gold coast or southeast queensland and uh, you need our help don't, don't uh, hesitate to give us a call gold coast solar power solutions and we'd be happy to help well, good luck of it. I'm uh, sorry to hear that your uh, Clinergy inverter is having issues. But uh, look, with uh, this video, it should help you get it sorted out ASAP. Thanks very much.